Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Now this is a video uh, not just for you uh, subscribers but it's also um, for a good friend of mine uh, John. Uh, his YouTube um, channel name is High Voltage Projects and um, what it is I sent him a package not long ago um, with a few bits and bobs in and uh, one of his packages was um, a little high voltage ignition transformer for a boiler, combi boiler of some sort and um, the one I sent him was uh, powered by a 1.5 volt battery which is a double A AA size and this one is powered by a 9 volt one um, the one I sent him was a 10 kV output this one's around about 15 kV and uh, they can give you quite a nasty little bit of a spike if you're uh, you know no matter whereabouts you, you hold these things they tend to ground themselves somewhere and give you a bite and uh, if you go and watch his video of um, is you know this little uh, transformer you'll be uh, laughing your socks off because it it's constantly uh, giving him a shock and when I was watching it I had to stop watching it because I was laughing that much I peed a bit <laughs> honestly I was my chest was absolutely killing me it was this thing was constantly shocking him and it was making me laugh but uh, anyway let me show you this one running John if you're watching and you friends of uh, subscribers and let me show you this the output on this I mean this one's uh, quite powerful it'll actually jump from the ends of the wire there to my fingers so we do this without getting shocked So that's that one running. Gotta be careful how this wire goes because it'll bloody grab hold of you. So I'll get this battery out now without getting shocked. Because honestly, it, it just goes no matter where it is, it'll just get you. There we go. There's nine. These rechargeable batteries, they're a little bit. Uh, the casing is a little bit more wider than normal battery so that's that so then the other things as well which I'm um, showing on this video is uh, I'm showing you different kind, kinds of little high voltage flyback coils these are out of um, combi boilers you know the uh, igniters for the, uh, the, the the flame igniter should I say and this is what they're out of I've got loads of them and there's all these different kinds as well and uh, this is a 10 kV one out, but it's quite a big one. This one is an industrial one, of an industrial. That's the out high output just there. This one was a 240 volt one, but uh, the coil runs all the way along there. But I got I took the board out for 240 and uh, I had it so I could stick it onto a 55 timer circuit. And uh, these little flybacks as well. These are off. Um, Industrial photocopiers, you know your office photocopiers. Um, you know the, these little, not the massive big industrial ones, the uh, standard size, the, the foot, foot. You know the things about about that big, stand about that high like that. There's uh, quite a few of those on the board. And there's a couple more of those ignition ones, and there's a nice little flyback just there. Look, that's out of one of these. These are pretty cool. These are. So yeah, so plus I'm going to uh, show you one of these little things working off a 5.5 timer and I'll power this up and show you. Sake. It's just typical. I get through five five timer chips white like you would not believe. I mean I've got I did order a hundred two weeks ago and that's how many I've got left. 
and I got them off eBay, a hundred for about six quid. And I've got another hundred coming, so you can imagine how many I get through. So there you go. I can smell the ozone off that bloody thing already, and the heat, feel the heat off it as well. So that's that running. And now the next thing I'm showing you on a 5.5 timer circuit is a pulse width mod modulation. Pulse width modulation. Excuse the uh, sun shining in my eyes. So this is the circuit for it and it's it's, it's inside of there. And um, what it is, I've got it basically uh, running a little motor just there out of an old, I think it was a 36 volt drill, hand drill. Sounds awesome. The frequency you can hear is actually coming through the, the coil of the of the motor. The armature coil, you know the windings. So I built, I got the the coil um, circuit off um, the coil circuit. They put the this circuit off um, Google Images and built the circuit and stuck it inside of here. Tell a lie, sorry. I'm getting mixed up with another circuit I've got. It's not a 5-5 five, five timer in here, sorry. It's um, it's a, it's uh, got 16 legs, 16 pin chip. I can't remember what it's called now, but it's... I got it off the net anyway, off Google Images, and managed to get hold of the chip off um, a website. CPC, I think it was. So, there you go guys, bit of a different uh, video for you there guys, um, no large high voltage arcs today, um, as I say this uh, this, uh, this video, video was solely to, uh, to show a, uh, a good friend of mine John um, on high voltage projects, so uh, check his videos out guys, he's got some, some pretty, pretty good videos, especially the one where he's, he's uh, electroc electrocuting himself on video and uh, you know to show the world <laughs> so thanks for watching guys don't worry I'll get back to my normal self on my next video some nice big arcs when I get to power that 
lovely big transformer you know the one with the x-ray uh, transformer in it that big box I've built with a nice big insulator standing off so uh, thanks for watching guys look after yourselves be safe bye